Are there portals to other dimensions, existences or planes? Well, if there are, one scary example might be Hoska Castle, situated about 50 kilometres north of the Czech capital city of Prague, also known locally as the Gate to Hell. Over 1,000 years ago, much of the Czech countryside would have been dense forest. In the Hoska area, these forests would have been dark, gloomy, damp and eerie, as the area is famous for its sandstone formations known as Skali. And in amongst these sandstone formations, in the middle of nowhere, lies this castle. Hoska Castle. The Gate to Hell. You see, Hoska is built on a fissure in the natural rocks, a bottomless pit which was said to lead to hell and from which hellish creatures were said to escape and harass travellers on nearby roads. The other thing about the castle is that it is built in the middle of nowhere. It seems to be protecting something inside rather than from something outside. It has no natural water supply and is miles from any main route. The story of Hoska becomes even stranger for as the structure was being built the landlord agreed that whichever condemned man would be lured on a rope into the crack in the rock to describe what he saw there would be freed. A volunteer was lured only a few feet into the hole in the earth before he started screaming hysterically. He was immediately retrieved and found to have suddenly developed snow-white hair, aged at least 30 years, and had become quite mad. He died the following day without divulging what horrors he'd seen in the gate to hell. One can imagine that work resumed on the castle with even more urgency than before. The first mentioned structure on the site was a small wooden fort in the 9th century, though it is believed the structure might have existed on the site since the 6th century. Part of Hoska's mystery is that it is the exception to the rule in not having a documented history. In fact, it doesn't even appear on some maps as if it were meant to be a secret that was best kept a secret. With its fake upper windows and floors that are not connected by stairs, the castle is a very strange structure indeed, and one wonders why it exists at all. Adding to the mystery is that during the Second World War, the Nazi SS occupied the castle. Why would a castle in the middle of nowhere and no strategic value be used by the SS? Many believed that the SS was running some kind of occult experiments there, perhaps with an energy portal, or that they were experimenting in creating the Master Race, a place where German SS troops would seed blonde-haired Aryan women in the hope of creating a superior race of humans. But no one knows for sure, and the retreating Nazis destroyed all the records of what actually took place there. The bottomless fissure apparently now lies beneath the floors of a small chapel, Painted on the walls of the inside of the chapel are some rather strange designs that include the only known example of a female, left-handed centaur, shooting a man with an arrow. On another wall is the image of St. Michael, plunging his lance into the mouth of a fearsome dragon. Other images include St. Christopher, an angel weighing human souls and the Christ. Having stood in the chapel myself, I can tell you that there is an energy there that after only a short while becomes absolutely unbearable. I had a headache for several hours after leaving. Interestingly, these murals add mystery to the castle as being left-handed in medieval times was thought to be a sign of evil, the left-hand path, and St. Michael was the archangel task, tasked with fighting hell's hordes. Despite all of this, strange sounds, moans and screams are said to be heard coming from below the chapel, and people have claimed to see demonic entities there, including a strange creature that looks like a cross between a human, frog, and a giant bulldog. The mural of the left-handed centaur stands starkly and reminds visitors of the gate to hell beneath their very feet. The castle's history also includes some other wicked and strange historical characters, as if it were a beacon of darkness with some significance known to practitioners of the dark arts, one of these was the Swedish rogue commander of a mercenary army that chose Hoska as his headquarters. Aronto was thought to be a black magician and alchemist who performed certain experiments at the castle. He and his soldiers terrified the local population, who eventually summoned up enough courage to shoot him. 
I covered Hoska in depth in my book about haunted places in the Czech Republic, but I've developed a theory as to what is going on there. It seems that the castle lies on the intersection of several Earth energy lines, and somebody has blocked those energy lines off, disrupting the flow and creating a negative portal of energy. Dowsing there shows the placement of crosses and blocks of stone effectively has blocked the energy lines off. You can visit Hoska Castle. It is open to the public. It has a very entertaining website, but be careful. It also has a very commercial aspect to it these days.